What's going on everybody? This is day three um, of my tr solo trip in Turkey. I'm in Istanbul and uh, head out in the morning to the ancient city of Troy and just going to talk to uh, about a few things here. I've enjoyed Istanbul. It's a big, really big city. Um, checked out a lot of the museums, which are usually my favorite thing to do, And but I'm ready to get out of the city. Not quite recovered from uh, jet lag. I'm still way off, but uh, got my copy, a uh, newer copy of the Iliad, and I've read maybe a quarter of it, but I'm, I'm really enjoying it. It's Peter Green. Last one I read, I think, was Fitzgerald. Um, but I can't remember for sure. I still have that copy at the house, and I read that maybe a decade ago, and uh, seeing a lot more in the, the second go around, and uh, just looking forward to seeing the city. Also, trying to get some good insights uh, from the book, um, location-wise, and um, just some inspiration. And uh, no unexpected thing I always ask uh, put some sort of intention where we're gonna doing something so this trip I did uh, put the intention of getting some inspiration and you'd think it'd be like the Sultan's Palace or you know some ancient sites or staring at the a GNC just something like that but I was walking down um, the streets this morning and I ran into this guy named Erdol Yolson uh, I'm probably saying his name wrong but uh, he was in a wheelchair and selling, uh, or he had a bunch of books strapped to him. This is one of them. He just had all these books and they were strapped down. And uh, I kind of was walking by and I heard him say something and uh, didn't really, uh, I'd finished up the day and went to a um, Turkish bath and then went to the chiropractor. The neck's all jacked up from 18 hours of flight. And uh, I just turned around like 20 feet or so and I kind of seen any, uh, that he was trying to talk to me and I I went back over and I was like I just in my head I was like oh he's probably got books in Turkish I'm in this Airbnb here and all the books in here are in Turkish I don't know how to read Turkish so didn't know how useful buying anything of those books were and I didn't know what he was selling but I got to talk to him I asked if he had any in English and he started pulling this one out and I seen there's a sign he had a little sign above uh, his wheelchair in the back and it said uh, I wrote, uh, I'm selling these books I wrote. So he had actually wrote all the books. This is his 16th book and it's called, uh, as soon as I handed it to me, I seen just self-improvement book, which I read a lot of self-improvement and study a lot of material. So that caught my eye immediately. And the title was kind of strange a little bit. is Dear Life, You've Got Something From Me. And I just quickly glanced at it and I was like, ooh yeah, I, I definitely, I'm gonna buy this from this guy. Plus it, you know, he's not out there begging he's providing some value in the world and he's trying to to do something uh, useful uh, to earn money and I really respect that so I wanted to buy this book from him. I asked him how much and he told me it was 50 lira which um, that's about it's like a dollar 40 in US dollars so and I had a two hundred dollar or 200 lira bill I gave him that's like um, you know it's not very much money. It's like six bucks or something. But uh, I gave him that, and he was like, "Do you want the, do you want change?" And he uh, has cerebral palsy, which you know his whole left side apparently kind of makes it move uh, uncontrollably, and it seems like he has a little bit of difficulty just moving his hands and stuff. And he's in a wheelchair. So I was like, "No, don't don't worry about it. That's uh, still a really good price for a book, and it's a little short book, but." Um, really pleased I picked this up and so far I've read mm, just the last uh, you know 20 minutes before I doze off there because uh, I'm super sleep deprived not because it's boring um, I couldn't read daily at, at all my brain was too fried so I'm gonna finish the rest of this tonight and uh, but yeah I found a lot of inspiration from this book um, he is giving a perspective of just perception from a very good natured human being and it's very wonderful to read words like that and thoughts like that i i fully believe that what you surround yourself with the thoughts you surround yourself with and the material you surround yourself with is going to contaminate your way of thinking and you're going to become more and more like that 
so I'm very pleased to be able to contaminate my mind with some good stuff, some very, very uh, good insights into humanity and uh, life. So I'm going to recommend anyone, I think he has an online store, he's got these uh, bookmarks he made. I don't want to lose my spot. Uh, the book is Medicine for the Soul. He's made these little bookmarks, kind of cool graphics there. But he's got his, uh, some of his contact info. He's got a WhatsApp number, his Facebook, Irodol Yelson Gazar, and Instagram and um, YouTube channel. And I know he's got a store where you can buy his books online. So I'm going to try to check into this stuff. I noticed in here his friend translated this for him, and he did apologize for any mistakes. There's a few. I'm dyslexic. I can't even notice. I have to like try to look for mistakes whenever I'm reading something. I just put it together and whatever I can make sense of, uh, it comes through. And I, I would not know if you put an A or a U backwards or uh, any other kind of typo. Um, but I know that throws off some people. But sorry, I'm doing laundry. It's uh, on dry cycle right now, so hopefully you can still hear me. Um, anyway, I thought I'd share some of my thoughts before I left this Insta Istanbul this morning and started traveling on the road. Uh, it's surprising how like much time I give myself to relax and everything, and I still run out of time. So it's like the world. Actually, it's not all that slowed down. It's pretty busy here. It's a cool city. Show the view outside my window. Real quick. This is totally going to probably be an unedited video. I don't have time for that stuff. Or patience for, you know, whatever I happen to say or, or run into is going to be pretty much in the video. So, pretty cool view. That's the Galatian Tower, the city of Genoa. Um, gifted this and built it for uh, Istanbul. Um, I don't know what year it was, but probably in the Byzantium era, so, you know, before 1400. Um, oh yeah, that reminds me, I do like history a lot. So the bathhouse I went to was the first, one of the first bathhouses they built in Istanbul. Yeah, there's my washer and dryer in one unit, pretty cool. It's not mine, but at the Airbnbs. Yeah, but that was built in like the 1480s is what they say, and that was like the year after um, the Turks um, conquered Constantinople, which, you know, today is called Istanbul. Before Constantinople was called Byzantium. So, a lot of history here. Uh, the meaning of Istanbul, I learned today, was uh, it just means um, to the city, or the city, so, in Turkish. So they just, you know, it's the big city. It's like 22 million people here. It is huge. And pretty cool city. This is going to be, you know, going on out here until, you know, pretty much all night. I went out here. Uh, I don't I think it ever fully stops, but around like 2 a.m. There's only going to be a handful of people out there. But uh, pretty cool stuff. I've enjoyed my stay. And that's it for me. I'll uh, make another video here uh, maybe after I spend a day or two at Troy.